little opening right here, which I'll show you in just a second. Deer just like to travel it back and forth. I gotta go check it. I haven't checked it in a while, but there's a big scrape over here that's every single year, so I'll go check it when I get down. I got a camera over there near it, and uh, we'll see what's been coming to it. But these deer should come in here. I checked the trail camera uh, cars when I got in, and uh, you're looking at about 8 to 10 o'clock. I saw the deer movement yesterday. So, hopefully we'll get a repeat, and um, you know, who knows what will come in. I've done heard about 10 rifle shots already. When I got out of my truck, I heard a bunch of pigs sound off back over to where the shooting's coming from. So if I had to guess, it's probably pigs. Alright, well we're headed back into the same spot I hunted this morning. It's a little warmer today. It's like 75. This morning was 37. It was nice. Uh, in the morning it's supposed to be in the low 30s again. So we'll just have to see how that plays out. But there's a really nice eight pointer that was coming in during Halloween. And there was another nice buck. You really can't tell what he is. Probably about 100 yards away on another trail camera walking to spot that I'm hunting. Hopefully, the old carbon spider can launch an arrow tonight on these big old white tails. We'll catch him when we get in the stand.
face all kind of hell. He didn't like it. Get my water bottle, I had to throw it at the deer to get them out of here. We're looking for that boar hog I shot last night. We found some more blood in another bed. We uh, well, we tracked him about 150 yards last night and found a couple beds, so we just got out. It looked like our, the exit was perfect. We got good blood, we got more of it right here. We can see where he bedded down. I guess we're just gonna pick up the blood trail from right here. If I had to guess, well, he went there's some more blood right here. Mm -hmm. He bedded back down. Well, he's in bad shape. That's two beds not six foot from each other. So he shouldn't be too far off in here. Well, me and Riley gonna body search him and see if we can't find him. And uh, we'll holler at y'all in a minute. Looks like I had a slick tail on him. Greased. <laughs> Me and Riley did a body search for that boar hog. Oh, there's a deer right there. To no avail. I mean, we did we did not see that. We find the body. We found them two beds. And nothing. Two beds, you know, found them beds. Nothing. There's another deer. So they're already moving. That's good. I'm actually probably late if they're already moving and it is 310. All right, I hope you enjoyed that hunt. Didn't turn out completely the way we wanted it to. We didn't kill a buck, but we did see some deer, and we got a shot at a, a really nice boar hog. I, shot, I thought that shot looked really good, looking back on footage, the exit, just looking back at the, the pictures of the blood and the, the video of the blood, looks really good. Uh, I do believe that pig is dead, 100%. Um, I, I mean, I, I would take that shot again if, if the opportunity presented itself. Uh, we spent roughly five hours, maybe even six hours looking for that pig between that night and then the next day with me and Riley. Found four or five beds, but what I think was happening, because there were so many boars in that group of pigs, and there was probably a couple thousand heat, and we see them on the Tacticam footage, right? That big white one, and then a really good black one. That black one was big too, but that white one is just, he's a giant. They were running this ticket back and forth, back and forth. 
And every time I think they crossed that boar that I shot, they would fight him, get him up, and get him moving again. And I, and I think that eventually, I think he zigged and we zagged type deal and we lost the blood. Um, but, you know, that's part of it. Uh, it's uh, unfortunate, but I don't think that pig, uh, I think if the boars would have left him alone, I don't think, he, you know, it would have been a, a very quick, clean, short blood track. But whenever you get some 300-pound pig on top of you fighting you, you got to get up and move. And then pigs are super relentless. And they are very aggressive. They don't. They're not gonna sit there and take it even injured. Um, but subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. That way you know when we drop our next video. Philip is just pouring in some duck hunts right now. They're just slaughtering them birds right now. And also, also remember we're right at 650 subscribers. So once we hit a thousand, we're gonna do a giveaway to a subscriber only. You have to be a subscriber in order to win the thermal hunt. Now, not only do you win a thermal hunt, you get to bring one buddy with you. So your best hunting buddy gets to come with you down to Texas and thermal hunt. If you're not from Texas, you get to come to Texas. And if you are in Texas, well, you just get to meet up with us and thermal hunt. Uh, and we got the, the guns, the scopes, the bullets, everything. You just got to bring you and a buddy. So subscribe. I don't know why you wouldn't. Anyway, it is late December, and I got my bow. I'm going to do some practicing. I got to go move a stand and see if I can't shoot a buck. I got a really nice one on camera and hopefully tonight make the right moves and get him killed. Until we talk next time, God bless.